Today we talk about the estimation of the jugular venous pressure. The jugular venous pressure reflects the central venous pressure or right arterial pressure. Normally it is about 9 cm water. The sternal angle approximately 5 cm above the right atrium. So normal jugular venous pressure should be about 4 cm above this angle when the patient is at 45 degrees. We have from this picture the external jugular vein and the internal jugular vein which arises from the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid and you see that the patient put at 45 degree usually we depend on the internal jugular rather than the external jugular so we use the right internal jugular vein for the estimation of the jugular venous pressure the patient should be at 45 degree and the head should be turned slightly to the left then we have to locate the surface markings of the internal jugular vein looking for the double wave pulsation by palpating the contralateral carotid pulse which is helpful then we have to measure the level of the jugular venous pressure this is another picture show the external jugular vein and show the two heads of the sternocleidomastoids this is another picture in order to measure the jugular venous pressure as we mentioned we have to expose the area properly to see the neck position we start in a supine position then we may increase at 30 degree and move up or down until we can see the top of the column we have to visualize the landmark usually the anterior cervical triangle looking for pulsation and this can be differentiated from the carotid because the carotid will not vary with the position and we can palpate to distinguish the carotid from the jugular venous pressure usually the carotid will be palpable while the jugular vein will be not in order to measure the jugular venous pressure we have to estimate the vertical distance from the sternum or sternal angle to the top of the column of the pulsation So we have to put the patient at 45 degree with the neck rested and the face slightly turned to the left side. We have to observe the pulsation between the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and the transmitted pulsation <coughs> from the sternocleidomastoid up to the angle of the mandible and to identify the highest point of pulsation
Then, after we position the patient in the proper way, we have to place the ruler at external angle, which for example, it is 5 cm above the right arterium, and we have to hold another ruler horizontally at the top of the jugular venous pulse, pulse or pulsation and we note how many centimeter this is above the sternal angle for example in this picture it is two centimeter then we add five centimeter to this number to give the total jugular venous pressure normally it should be less or equal to 9 cm in this picture we see it is 2 cm above the sternal angle plus 5 cm the total will be 7 cm which is normal thank you very much